This is Hero Brian, born from this image posted in a Minecraft forum thread on August 30th, 2010. It was later realized that this image was fake and Hero Brian was never in Minecraft, but what if he was? So I added Hero Brian to my game. Hero Brian can stalk you from a distance, produce footsteps behind you, play structures around the world, mine around you in caves, creep up behind you and wait for you to turn around, destroy your torches, and much more. In addition to this, we have this guy. This is the man from the fog. Think of him like the cave dweller in a video I made a while ago, except this mob can get you anywhere in the world, not just caves. I'll also be playing with eyes in the darkness, which adds to the atmosphere, horror elements, which adds dead bodies throughout the world, weeping angels that are hostile mobs that only move when you can't see them, and I won't spoil the rest, but this was a great time. One of the mods we have installed has a boss that you can summon by going through some structures around the world and finding some parts to his staff, and our goal is to summon and defeat that boss. Apparently, it's really hard to defeat. And yeah, I really just want to see how scary Minecraft can be with a few mods added. Also, I want to say I completely stole this idea from Calvin. He made a series with some of the mods I'm using in this video, but I added a few more horror mods so I don't literally copy his video mod for mod. So let's just hop into it. Oh man, it's already starting. Unknown entity error. Minecraft has detected an unknown presence in this world. It is advised that you do not not pass the screen. Ignoring this warning may result in strange occurrences and or encounters. Remember, don't stare directly at the bugs. This message will not show again for this world. All right, well, I guess I'm gonna proceed. And here we are. We're in the world. Man, it looks really beautiful. You know, unfortunately, we know what kind of world this is, so... The beauty's not going to last for a long time. But, you know, we'll do what we can to preserve the beauty, I guess. Just going to get some wood real quick. After we get the wood... Mm, I'm not sure what the first thing I want to do is. I probably want to look to try to find the staff parts. I feel like that's something I could do. But let's go ahead and make a wooden pickaxe. I know, nobody has ever done this in Minecraft in the history of the world. Made a wooden pickaxe. That is some revolutionary thing right there. Also, notice how when I'm mining, it has like a bit of an echo. Yeah, that's a mod we have on too. So caves are also going to feel a lot more realistic. Go ahead and make... The stone axe as well. Alright, that looks great. Mm, I think we'll find coal and iron from a cave. I just want to get a bit more stone. That looks good. Yeah, I think we'll find coal and iron from a cave. Oh, I can get some more wood though. You know, it's really nice. <clears throat> For a long time, I couldn't even play Minecraft regularly, and I have such a good PC that I can actually run this game on shaders with all these mods. Now I can play on an 18 chunk render distance, and it feels really nice, honestly. So, so that's, yeah, that's water, you can see it. Wow. Just barely you can see it though. This ambiance is insane. Yeah, we'll get some melons, too. Food. That's not bad. Oh, wow. I mean, that's a lot of food. And here we have... Our first cave. <laughs> you can hear the echo of the bats in the cave. That's kind of crazy. We're just gonna go ahead and get some coal. Wow. One... Single... piece of coal. That right there has something to do with the weeping angels. I didn't know that was water. You hear that though? That is the sound of a zombie. There's zombies in this cave. Mm. Oh, there's coal above it. I didn't notice that somehow. 
I did think it was kind of weird for there to be one single piece of coal. God. Those skeletons hit for a lot. I may as well eat. Hmm. Do I need to eat all the way? <laughs> I need to eat all the way. Uh, that's fine. Hmm. Oh, another skeleton. Don't really feel like fighting skeletons right now. If I'm gonna be honest. Oh, there we go. Oh, wow. There's some iron right here. Oh, that's great. It's a lot of iron, too. It's not, uh, like, a tiny amount. That's good. I really like this physics mod we have, by the way. Oh, shoot! Oh, I got carried away. Oh, my God. Oh, I got carried away. Kicking that thing down. That's copper over there. There's more of that purple, purple stuff. Like I said, it has something to do with the weeping angels. That purple stuff, but I'm not sure what it does. Get rolled. Just this echo whenever I mine blocks. That is so cool. <laughs> and this is how the zombies echo as well. And this noise they make. Oh man. This is gonna be fun. I'm really excited. This is gonna be fun. When I downloaded this, I thought, and I still kind of think to a degree, I mean, how scary can Minecraft be, right? Even with mods. I mean, how scary can a game like this be? Really. I hear a witch. And I guess we'll find out. <laughs> I guess we'll find out how scary a game like this can be, but I don't know. I'm afraid one of the weeping angels is going to come behind me. Because weeping angels, what they do is very sinister. <laughs> because what they do, I don't know, I don't know what some of y'all may think they do. They don't attack you, I don't believe. I think if they touch you, you get teleported to a random area in the world. I don't think they actually damage you. Alright, I honestly think this is cool. 28 raw iron. I don't know. Should I stay in the cave longer? Oh no, I shouldn't. I should, uh, I should leave. I should 100% leave. <laughs> so that's what I'm gonna do. Oh my god, finally. Finally. It's actually nighttime, that's... <laughs> Not the best. But these cocoa beans, I can make cookies with them, right? I don't think cookies are a very good food source. Oh my god. Neither of these. These glowberries suck. Oh, there we go. There's something new. So this is going to catch the whole forest on fire. Oh, shoot. Oh my god. Oh, don't do that. Don't do that. Hmm. This is one of the new structures. But you know what this structure also has are these blocks of coal. And I definitely want to take as much of this as I can. Although I already do have a lot of coal, so maybe not as much of this as I can. What the hell was that? Ooh. Oh, 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 God. Oh, God. All right, we left there with 14 blocks of coal. I think that's good enough. I, <laughs> call me crazy, but playing a horror mod where stuff can be like behind trees, don't think I want to build my base in a jungle. But at the same time, I mean, that would... Ooh, that would add to the, I guess, spookiness of the video, maybe. But I want to find some of the new graveyards. I do see some light over here. What is this? Oh, what is this? I don't know. 
Is there something hidden here? Because this seems like a random thing to just have here. There's got to be some hidden... There's no way that this is just... God dang it, zombies. Stop it. We're out of food now. Oh, there is something here. Oh, hold up. <gasps> oh, well prepared. Obtain a coffin. Oh my god, we got diamond ore from that. Wow, we actually got some good stuff from that. A sarcophagus. So I believe Herobrine comes out. Oh my god, he has pigs. I believe Herobrine comes out on day three. And we just got through day one. Well, I guess day zero. For some reason, Minecraft counts the days from zero. So we're on day one right now. Um, so two more days, I think Herobrine will become active. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. That's a bit of blood. Does that mean there's something down here? All right, uh, let's let's. I'm, I'm gonna sit down here. Uh, I'm gonna make a furnace. There we go. Cook some food. You know, get some health going. Because I can't be exploring like this. Oh my god, more cows to kill too. We love food. W food. So what is this sarcophagus? <gasps> it's a giant chest. Oh my god. With the most obnoxious sound of all time. Oh no. The sun is going down. I've almost got all my iron. Uh, oh wow. That's something I didn't even notice. <laughs> maybe, uh, maybe that's a bad area to go to. Maybe I shouldn't go over there. But that's a nice like flat area. I kind of want to build a base over there. So, as crazy as it sounds, why do I see blood? Do you all hear that? Oh. Oh. I don't know. What the hell? I don't know what that blood signifies. But one thing it for sure doesn't signify is something good. This is the blood. Oh. Oh. Oh no. Oh no. Okay. So that, my friends, is a weeping angel. Why the hell is it dark? Oh, what the hell is going on? What the hell? Oh my god, it's just a zombie. Why is it so dark? Don't do this to me. What the hell is that? Oh. oh. We could take shelter here. Where's the entrance at? There's gotta be an entrance, right? If we're gonna break in, let's break in the proper way. You know what I mean? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, that's nice. Oh my god, we could find a lot of loot here. Ooh. What the hell is that? Oh, wow. What is this down here? A secret? Let's just go up here and see what's going on. A bunch of lightning rods. Oh, I'm out of torches. Oh my god. Oh, well. let's go. Wow. Wow. That is nice. Okay, so what do we definitely not need? Cobwebs. No way. 
We don't need this one single arrow. Wow. What a crazy building this is. You know, I'm wondering if we should just stay in here for the night. It's probably a lot safer in here than it is out there. All right. There we go. It's now daytime. Just need to wait for all these mobs to burn. And I'm gonna get some of that sheep food too. Yum yum. Ooh. Okay, that's something. Nice. <laughs> How weird is it to see... I think that's one of the structures we've already seen, honestly. How weird is it to see some dead bodies hanging from a tree and say, nice. I think that's kind of weird. But that's honestly how I feel right now. I'm very happy to see that because that's something new and that's exciting. This is... Um, name tag, gunpowder, and rotten flesh. An iron? Okay. What could be that? Nothing good either, but a music disc. Emeralds? Okay. Oh, hold on. We may have to light this tree on fire. Do the do the chests disappear when you light trees on fire? Oh wow. Golden apple. I assume Ooh. <laughs> That's uh not something I wanna hear. I assume the trees do, right? Because they're wood. What the hell is that? <laughs> Floating tree! Oh my god, that's terrifying! No, I think that's the exact same tree we went to earlier. Wow, I'm really killing the uh, the vibe of this video being scary, aren't I? Oh, what the hell? What the f- What the hell? God damn it! I'm getting harassed. I'm in this tree again. There's another tree over here. Stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it. If it dropped anything. It didn't even drop anything. It just dropped XP, right? Skele that was like a, a skeleton creeper. Oh, shoot. That's not the place you want to be at night. Kill a graveyard mob. You know, it's interesting because... One of the mods I have installed, it's the same thing that Sarcophagus is from, uh, spawns these graveyards with a bunch of new mobs around, and I have yet to see one of those graveyards. It spawns a bunch of new structures. There's, you know, graveyards, that one tree we came across. Uh, this isn't part of it. This is uh, Horror Elements. That's what that mod is. But, um, yeah, it spawns graveyards. Um, that's not anything either from it. Um, it spawns, like, ruins underground. Like, uh, I think they call it crypt. Like a crypt. With new mobs as well. And I didn't think they would be that rare. But, uh, apparently I'm incorrect. Oh, nice. Actually... Nice. Okay. We have a golden chest plate now. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. What the hell happened outside? Call me crazy. But I think I'm going to build my house over there. Wow, I can't believe there's a sandstorm going on. Oh wait, there's something here. Oh, hold up. I'm a grave digger, huh? Oh, wow. What the hell's going on? Jesus. The footsteps, man. Yeah, I'll put my house here. It's kind of... It's 
scary place to put it though, honestly. But I have the curse of never being able to figure out how I want my house to look, where I want it to be. So I guess I'm just gonna have to, you know, pick an area, which is what I'm doing now. What the hell happened? Why the hell are there, like, six skeletons? <laughs> okay, so, this is a nice area to build a house, honestly. God dang it, leave me alone, buddy. You want this? You want this action, my friend? Oh. Yeah, get rolled. So we're going to do something I learned about recently with building called the box method. Shut the hell up. And so what the box method is, if you suck at building, like I do, you take some box shapes, come on guys, I'm trying to teach the people here, you take some box shapes, and we could actually probably take that out like that, you're kidding me. Guys, can I have some peace and damn quiet? Can I have some peace and quiet? Holy hell. God damn it. No. Get away from me! Stop! Oh my god! Oh my god, what the hell? What the hell? No, stop! Stop! No, no, no! No, no, no! No, 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 no! No, 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 no. Stop! This is the worst thing ever. Guys, oh my god, why is everything on me right now? It can't climb, surely. It can't climb, surely. It doesn't have the best AI either, it seems. Yeah, you can't do anything. <sighs> Will it disappear? Oh my god. It oh my god! Oh my god, I swear to god it was climbing. <sighs> oh my god, it just got all quiet. Wow. That was an absolute nightmare. Oh my god. Oh, wow. Okay. Holy hell. Okay, so I want the door to be here. Man, that was just a nightmare. That actually was kind of scary. I'll be the first to admit it. That was actually pretty terrifying. Oh my god. I think what I'm actually gonna do on these like corners here is place like wood. I think that would look nice. Jesus. <laughs> oh, that was, that was so good, man. That was so terrifying. May as well pick that up. We can put some stuff in the sarcophagus here. No, no, no. I don't have a weapon. My axe just broke. Have you no shame, spiders? Oh, nice. God dang it. I 
kick that stupid body of his. Get out of here, nerd. This is like very basic <laughs> building, by the way. But one thing that you will come to realize is that I am the worst builder of all time in this game. So, you know, it is what it is, unfortunately. So I'm recording this the day after the mob vote. Um, I was out all day yesterday, so I didn't actually watch the mob vote. I just saw the highlights of it on Twitter, which I really like. I think that's a good way to go about it. You know, don't watch the mob vote, and then, you know, you see the highlights of it on Twitter. And I'm pleasantly surprised that the armadillo won. I thought the crab would win. Um, and I know people are like crab enjoyers, man. Like, oh my god. People are really upset about the crab uh, losing the vote, but I'm, you know, I'm an armadillo enjoyer. I really like the armadillo, so I'm pleasantly surprised that it won. Typically, and the reason that I wanted the uh, armadillo to win, by the way, uh, is because, um, not because I think the other mobs are bad. I think every mob in the vote added a very minute, very, like, so minor addition to the game. I'm not sure what I want this floor to look like, by the way. And I thought about it, and I was like, well, which one adds something to the game that is minor but needed? And I felt like when it comes to building, it's like if you want to reach something, you know, you can just like build up and then reach it. Uh, we have scaffolding as well. Uh, boats, they're fast enough. They don't really need to go faster. So I was like, huh. I mean, pet armor isn't anything crazy either, you know. Um, you like my box house, by the way. <laughs> but pet armor isn't anything crazy either. But I feel like... Floating sandstone. Um, why is there so many weird things now? I'm just noticing about this area. I feel like out of anything, pet armor would be the one that needed the buff. Oh, they do actually drop stuff. Ah, uh, another grave I can... I can get in. Wait, this is a different grave. Oh my god, there's two graves. Hold up. Wait a minute. Nice, man. <laughs> I can have a bunch of graves, sarcophagus. I can have a bunch of stuff in my house. I don't even need chests. Here you go. Birch coffins. These are my chests. Yep. Let's uh, organize the inventory a bit. We can put the sarcophagus just right there. Hmm. This is actually our first time seeing what it looks like out here. Let me break this too. Put this just right there. And it can continue to cook that. We also have a pyramid over here. Oh my god, it's getting nighttime again. I feel like it just turned day. Jesus, man, there's always something. All right, let's see what's going on here. Ooh. Okay. Don't fall in the lava. Oh, wow. God dang it. I need some torches. Oh my god. Oh no. Oh. Oh wow. Arrows of poison. That is crazy. We made it to the 
freaking killing chamber. Oh my god. Oh my god. Everybody here is dead. Some of these body parts are actually really cool though. Wait, is that it? Just a room of dead people? Like there's no... Well, that's random to have in here. Wow. That is actually quite a letdown. Oh, now we can use this bow. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Uh-oh, I missed. Oh, hello. Stay out of my house. Out of my house, buddy. God dang. <laughs> I'll push you out. <laughs> oh, God. I do want to add glass. Add some windows. So we can put some windows here. Nice. Now I can look out. Now I can look at that Enderman in the eyes and it won't even know. Also, we can add... Oh. We can add a window here. Tiny little window here as well. Oh, no! The forest is on fire! I don't know how that's possible. But it is. Alright. Now we have windows except for over here but this is like my chest room i don't really want windows in my chest room i want to try to find some of the new i'm treating this like it's an update some of god dang it the new structures some graveyards really that's the new structure i really want to find because uh, there is a mob in the graveyard. I think it's the graveyard, right? Or maybe it's one of the crypts. I'm not sure. I'm not sure how I can even find a crypt if it's randomly generated underground. Like, especially if it's rare and generated underground. I feel like that would be hard for me to find. But... God, can I kill it? <sighs> but the graveyard is something that spawns above ground, so it, should, so it should be a lot easier to find, theoretically. But I just can't find it. I've been looking around for a while, I can't find it. So I'm sorry guys, I got to, cause I'm just curious, where is the graveyard? We gotta see if we can go over there. Oh my god, okay, this was gonna take forever to find, I'm glad we did this. Negative 384, 4432. There it is. I believe that's the graveyard right there. Oh, nice. And the sun's going down, so it's going to be dark when we get there, maybe? We're close to it. All right. <laughs> oh. oh, God. Disturbing the dead. Oh, God. No, I don't mean to. I'm just curious. Oh, I am as curious. Oh. Oh, nice. Maybe I am disturbing the dead because I like, you know, not everything that I'm seeing, but some of the stuff I'm seeing. Thought I heard something. Some of the stuff I'm seeing is quite good, actually. These graves don't really have anything. Oh, wow. Wow, what timing is that? That is possibly the best timing ever for me to say something like that. Okay, so these graves do sometimes have stuff. 
the hell is that? What the hell? Wait, what's going on out there? They're all running around. Oh no. Well, I gotta be careful then. I can't be going over there. Oh, skeleton creeper. Oh no! Oh no! Get back. Okay, so the skeleton creeper gives you darkness or blindness or whatever they call it. Okay. Whoa, what the hell is that? What the hell is that? No, 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 no
Wow. <laughs> well, there's the answer. So we have a bone dagger. Cool. Now it says, hold a glass bottle in your off hand. We could smell glass. Hold a glass bottle in your off hand and start killing villagers with the bone dagger. You'll get a vial of blood, fill the vial to its limit. So fill the vial of blood to the max, okay. And then from the lich prison structure, which... God damn it. Dude, those rabbits, I'm not even kidding. Those rabbits sound like... Oh, I think it's a weeping angel. When they, when I hear that. I think it's a weeping angel and it freaks me out. God, why do, why does this game do this to me? Okay, negative 1200, 3600. That's where we're going. Oh my god. Anyway, the boss spawns in the structure that's up in the sky. Okay. It says, it's a large floating island above oceans. Interesting. So wait until it's night. Place the bone staff pieces from upper to lower on the dark, corrupted, deep slate blocks in front of the altar and pour the vial of blood into the altar, and then the boss will spawn. So, nice. Now we know a little bit more on how to summon this thing. Um, I think, yeah, first I'm going to go to this ruin structure, then... Well, I guess whatever happens first, right? If we find a village before then, then I may as well heat up the sand I have, get a glass bottle, and, you know, fill it up, kill some villagers. Which is horrible, man. I don't want to do that to villagers. Those poor those poor things. <laughs> but, you know, I guess you gotta do what you gotta do. Oh, here we are. Here we are. So, apparently, this has what we're looking for. Although, I don't see anything that we're looking for. Staff fragments. Is this a staff fragment? Oh! Oh! Ominous Bone Staff Fragment. Collect the middle piece of the Bone Staff. Oh, okay. So now we need to find two more of those. Oh, oh my god! That music! That music and then I turn around and see that. Nah, dude. Nah, why do they do this to me? All right, back of the house, another sandstorm going on outside. What the hell? God dang spider, I hate how they can hit through the, that's, that's unfair. Oh my god, okay, back of the house. We have infinity, we have this corruption, which is strange. <laughs> I don't know if I should be putting that in my chest, uh, but we'll keep the bone staff, put that up. Um, yeah, we'll put that up as well. Oh, look what we have here. Look what we... Hello. Alright. Let's go to these ruins now. I'm not going to teleport to it. 2320. 2560. 2320. That's what it is, right? Yeah. 2320, 2560, this way. Oh, f*** me! It's f***ing moving. What the f***? Oh my god. I've never seen it move before. I thought if I went up to it, it was just going to disappear. I don't know. Maybe it'll kill me. Oh, I forgot I have Frostwalker on. Hold up. Yeah. This is nice. Oh, I thought that was it. I thought that was a staff piece. What the hell? It's a... Stop! It's the ribcage again. Am I getting unlucky? Or do I just not know how this is done? I mean, I'll, you know, defile any grave, I guess. What the hell? <laughs> oh, it's one of these things again, with a bunch of skeleton skulls and, uh, 
Skull Collector. Finish a low health enemy with the sword to claim your trophy. What? Oh, damn. Oh, hold up. We're gonna walk around with this thing. What the hell? Let's try it on this. Oh, what the f- Um... Spider Skull, yes. Steve Decapitated, yes. That is indeed what I just did. I just... Yep, that's definitely what I just killed. A spider and a Steve. Okay, well, you know, it's it's not the, you know, best weapon of all time. It's, it doesn't drop the best items, but it is something. You know, we do have a crypt, though, 700 blocks away from me. So I think I'm going to check that out. That sounds quite in <sighs> Funny guy. The comedian has arrived. That seems quite interesting. Actually, wait, there's a village here. Um, I am going to kill them. Fear not, of course it's for a good reason. I'm just, you know, getting their blood, putting it in a little vial cup. No issue, no issue. Glass bottle in the offhand. Bone dagger here. Okay, now if I'm not mistaken, I should be able to go up to a villager, is what it says. And when I kill them, it'll slowly collect their blood. <laughs> that sounds crazy. In this glass bottle. Damn, rabbit's making me think. <sighs> There's something trying to kill me. There we go. Oh, okay, so if we kill seven more... What the hell? Oh, I guess it was the light. <laughs> I think everything is, like, something it's not supposed to be. Um, if we go inside their homes, like, this is terrifying. They just have... These poor villagers, man, they just have someone coming inside of their homes and killing them. Well, god dang it. Nice. Two of eight. <laughs> and we use this blood to summon, like, a demon. Where the hell are all the villagers? Like... Like, actually... Oh, there we go. God dang it. Nice. There we go. Three of eight. We need five more villagers. Are there even five here? Well, there's one. Nice. Four of eight. Hmm. We may have to go to another village and kill all the villagers there, too. Man, we're just on a rampage. Nice. Nice. Five of eight. Three more villagers. We may actually have this in the bag with this village. Six of eight. Mm, dang, maybe not. Oh, no, it looks like those are that's every single villager here. Dang. Dang. Okay, six of eight. That's cool, though. Have y'all seen Herobrine so far in this video when I have... Oh my god. What the hell? What the hell? Hey, I don't care to pick that up at all. <gasps> what the hell is that? What the hell is that? I was going to try to go to the crypt. You know what kind of sucks about this mob? God damn. Oh, it drops corruption. I don't know what that does. But what sucks about this mob... Oh, it doesn't do that much damage. 
What sucks about this mob is that... Oh my god, they spawn. They respawn. Wow. Um, when you damage them, they don't turn red, and that's kind of annoying. You know, you know what sucks? I'm going to give you all some secret sauce. So the reason why I'm not sleeping to get rid of these phantoms is because Herobrine resets if you sleep. Right? So I almost... Oh no. God dang it. Oh my god. I almost should just game rule. Um... Oh my god! No. They teleported me. They touched me. <sighs> That's what I was talking about. If the... If the Weeping Angels touch you, they teleport you. Alright, let's do this again. Locate, Graveyard, and I want to find the Crypt. 1168. Oh. My God. 1168. 4608. 4608. <sighs> so it should be anywhere down here. Oh. I think we're here. Oh, wow. This is interesting. Oh, wow. This is really interesting. So, what's in the crypt? There's a bunch of cor this corruption stuff. I looked it up on the... This mod is called the Graveyard Mod. I looked it up on the Graveyard uh, Wiki, I guess you could call it. What the hell? Um, huh. Well, wow, this is underwhelming. <laughs> I looked it up on the graveyard wiki, and, um, wait, there's, wait, there's another level. What? How did I not notice this? And it just reads as gibberish. I'm not even kidding. What the hell? I don't have an actual sword. So I'm gonna go down the cool way. Oh, wow. This is different. Oh, man. Hero Brian who? These look sort of like the new trial chambers that were just announced. What the hell is that? Oh, it's one of those things. We've seen one of those before. Wow. Oh my god, they're fast. Ooh. That's corruption. They're dropping corruption. I'm not gonna pick up the corruption. What the hell? This place is massive. And... The reason I'm not going to do that. No. This is so interesting. Oh, hello. Wow. He got stuck in the he dropped corruption. Oh wow, look at this. Wow, I'm just desecrating their entire area here. Oh. They're like, God dang it, this is our home, buddy. You're ruining our home. I'm like, oops, sorry. My bad. But it doesn't look like anything like crazies over here. Oh, we found another ruin. 
Wait, that's a different bone part. No, it's not. Those whispers are actually terrifying. How am I supposed to find another staff piece? All I find... What the hell are the two beds sitting here? All I find is the same staff piece over and over again. God dang it. Oh no. Oh no. You know what that means. You do it once, you gotta do it to every single one of them. You know, I do want to actually make my roof look good on my house, though. So we're gonna do that. How can you make roof? How do people do this, bro? How do people do this? Oh, shoot. Don't they do roofs like this? Pretty sure they do roofs like this. And this. And then they go up, right? They put them like upside down. Oh my god, I'm gonna I'm gonna hurt someone. No. God dang it! I'm gonna Oh my house! My house! Get back! Get out of my house. Oh. My poor house. I hear another phantom outside. This just keeps getting worse and worse by the minute. I don't have enough wood to fix my house right now. Man, that's always something I tell you. No matter what you do, whether it's playing a video game. Oh my god. Okay, it's just a zombie. Whether it's playing a video game or, you know, doing something now in the real world, there's always something. You know, that, that reminds me talking about... Oh, shh. What? What the hell is that? I thought that was the. Mm. Ooh. Oh! Oh! Oh, it teleports! Oh, it teleports! Oh! I don't have a house yet. I don't have a house yet. My house is not done. I need to do some. renovating. Oh! Oh! Oh shoot, it bounces off of it. Oh, I can hit it though. Oh, this is easy. Give me a challenge. Drops corruption. Interesting. God damn it. <laughs> yeah, that's how I want the that's how I want the stairs to be. Beautiful! Yeah, this is the most ugly house of all time, but you know. You get to a point, it's like, whatever. It's an ugly house, sure. That's fine. Fine by me. I, it really doesn't matter to me. But anyway, like I was saying, like... You know... This, uh... This mindset of, like, you know... St there's always something happening. That actually happened to me in the real world a little while ago. <clears throat> and I was thinking about making this a video on my second channel. But I was like, eh... You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna stray against it. Like it's not that big of a deal. But uh, something happened recently in my life that really changed my perspective on. Um, I guess how just because somebody has like a doctor license or whatever, it doesn't mean they know what they're talking about. Unfortunately. Um, and so, what I mean by that is we went to, my girlfriend and I, we went to a, a vet co because our dog, and we've only had our dog, well, we have another dog we've had for many years, but um, we got another dog recently, two months ago, actually, so very recently. Um, and the dog's only seven months old, but... You know, for the last month, maybe, I, like, I think it's been a month. I don't think it's been since we've had him, but I, I can't be sure. Um, our dog was, like, making this noise only at night where it sounded like he would throw up. God, there's always something. 
but but he never did, right? And that's kind of weird. Like he's making this noise, but he he never does anything. Nothing ever happens. And then you know, after he's done making his little noise, he goes to sleep. Um. And it just got to a point where it was like, okay, this is just odd. Let's, you know, go to a vet, rather be safe than sorry, and ask them about this. We asked them about it. Um, they said, you know, that's just what baby dogs do. That's just what little puppies do. It's not that big of a deal. It's fine. I'm like, okay. You know, that's kind of weird. I, you know, I mean, wh what do I know? I haven't had a baby dog since I lived with my parents, right? And then my parents' dogs are, you know, many years old now. One of, one of my parents' dogs is 12, so... It's been a while since I had a baby dog, so I was like, uh, maybe I just don't remember. Maybe I, maybe I was, like, too young when they were babies. Like, how would I remember that? Um, but we went another time, because it, it was just getting ridiculous, and it was like, are they sure? Like, let's, you know... Actually, no, that, I don't think that's what it was. I think we went to the vet, because for just for a regular checkup, and we asked the doctor about that instead of just, you know, asking on the phone, because we called on the phone that first time. We were, and they were like, oh no, that's just what babies do. So we asked the doctor when we went for a checkup. And she was like, huh, you know, this, that, that sounds weird. I don't think I've, I've heard of something like that before. Let me, you know, I don't know what it's called, but let me listen to his lungs, basically. Um, so we're like, okay, sure. And so the doctor listens to our dog's lungs. Um... And is like, huh, you know, something doesn't sound right. I think I need to get some x-rays. So we're like, okay. Uh, that's going to be, they say, that's going to be $600. And we're like, holy hell, you've got to be kidding me. $600 for x-rays. And, you know, it's a lot of money, but I'll, I'll do whatever, you know, for like, and maybe this is weird, but I, I really treat like my animals like they're like my kids, you know what I mean? Like I love him to death, um, so it's like I'll do it. I'll do anything for him, you know. You know it sucks that you know the price is so high, but you know if that's if that's the price, then and maybe I'm getting scammed. But it is what it is, you know. I'll pay it happily as long as my dog is okay. And I hope most people are like that when it comes to animals. I really love animals, so I hope a lot of people like love their animals as much as I do. Uh, but anyway, <laughs> so, you know, they do the x-ray, and they're like, oh my, uh, they're like, uh, there's some, like, gas in his lungs, you know, or in his stomach, I mean. Um, so, you know, give him this medicine, give him this, and he'll be fine. And the next day, my girlfriend gets a call from the same vet, and there's here, Brian. He's losing his charm. And the vet says, okay, um, I looked at the x-rays again. Your your dog's stomach is flipped up. The backside of his stomach is flipped up slightly. And inside of his small intestine. And she was saying, you know, if he, if he goes outside and he runs around after he eats, his stomach could flip over and his stomach could explode and he could die. We're like, holy hell. Thank you for telling us this. You could have told us this yesterday. What the, f like, what the hell is wrong with you? You know what I mean? Like, what a what a freak. Like, why would you not tell us this yesterday? And I just thought that was weird as hell. So I was like, let's go get a second opinion. So we went to uh, a different vet. A more expensive vet. It was $100 just for them to see us. Just for them to say hi and just to look at the dog. <laughs> but this is what I realized. A, a cheap vet like Vetco, the Petco vet, is so cheap. Um... And it's because they're inexperienced, right? You go to a more experienced vet that has many, many more years under their belt, it's going to be more expensive. And we went there and they look at the x-rays and they're like, this looks like a normal puppy. Like, this doesn't look like anything weird at all. And I asked them multiple times. I said, if you look at that, that x-ray, do you see anything like our other doctor or our other vet was saying that his stomach is inside his small intestine? And, you know, the vet looked and looked and looked, looked multiple times, and uh, never saw anything. Said, I don't see anything like they're talking about. And that really pisses me off, honestly. I'm glad my dog is okay, 
Um, we actually, uh, at that Veco place, they sent it to radiology and they got a radiology report as well. And the radiology report says pretty much the same thing that the one vet we went to the other day says. And it says our dog is fine. And it just kind of pisses me off because I think that we got scammed out of the $600 vet visit. And that is so... Dude, that pisses me off so much that these people can sit there and just do that. And I don't know why they would do that. I... I want to believe that, you know, people are nice, people are kind-hearted. And that, you know, the vet genuinely thought something was wrong with our dog. But it's like, how could you be so wrong? To the point where you're telling us that his stomach is flipped. And his intestine, it, like, it's, his stomach is inside his small intestine. Like, how can you be that incorrect you know what i mean so it's just it, like i said man it's just really upsetting um because i mean yes i make youtube videos but like i feel like people think that every person who makes youtube videos is like rich has th 10 b million billion dollars i certainly don't damn i wish i did i certainly don't so it's just annoying as hell uh to you know, gets get a vet like that that, you know, kind of takes advantage of you, it seems. Um, and if I were more privileged, I probably would sue, cause, like, for emotional distress, right? Like, that's bullshit that they can say that. That looks a lot better, by the way, this roof. Uh, but I can't afford that. And it wouldn't even be for me I'd want to sue just so I can get money. It would be I want to sue for, like, everybody who goes to that vet. Because who knows how many people they've scared to death. I mean, they were f scaring uh, my girlfriend and I to the point where they made it sound like our dog was going to die, like, any day now. Um, I'm leaving out some stuff in the story because I don't quite remember every little thing. But, I mean, what they were telling us, they made it, that made it sound like our dog was going to die, like, any time. And like I said, man, I want to believe that people are, like, really nice and honest. But it's really difficult for me to believe that, you know, our vet legitimately thought <laughs> that about our dog. So, uh, yeah, it's just a weird situation. I just wanted to talk about it. I don't know why, but yeah. And I know this is lame, but I'm not going to lie. This mod isn't that good. <laughs> so I'm going to give myself... I hate saying stuff like that about mods, too. It's like, I know these people worked really hard. Uh, I'm going to give myself the b other bone staff pieces. Lower bone staff. And upper? Yeah. Okay. So I have all the bone staff fragments now. So now I just need to kill two more villagers. And find the altar. I'm also going to break that. I don't know what I put in this place. That probably wasn't a big deal. But I'm going to break that and then I'm going to make a new diamond axe. Because this does... Wait, what the hell? Nine attack damage? It does the exact same attack damage as the iron axe? Oh no. Why troll me like that with that noise? Why troll me, huh? Oh god! Oh my god! Okay. Let's uh let's locate the structure Lich Prison, 2500 blocks away. Funny, funny game is this. Funny, funny game. Oh, dude, this guy is ridiculous, bro. I was also thinking about what the next like really long video like this could be. I think I'm going to try that Parasite mod, and I may try it with a friend. Oh my god. That may be interesting. I don't know. Oh, look! Oh my god. Thank god I looked to my right, and I didn't just keep going forward. There's a village here, so we can fill this uh, blood vial up now. Nice. That's amazing. I was really banking on this, because, yeah, if I made it to the uh, the boss arena... 
without filling this up, then that would have just been awkward. Hopefully the zombies didn't kill all of them. I doubt it. Um, yeah, I doubt it, right? What the hell are all these? Don't tell me those are the corpses of villagers. Oh my god, I think that's what that is. No, 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 no. No. Oh my god, there's two right here, awesome. Awesome, seven, and this should be... Eight of eight, full, awesome. 2208, 160, incredible. All right, now we have a full blood vial. Oh, you can see it. You can see the shadow of it. Oh my god, it's way up there. I didn't know it was going to be that high. Oh wow, we probably need more blocks. I mean, honestly, I could just use sand. Wow, I that is way higher up there than I thought it was going to be. Holy hell. All right, well. Let's uh let's do this, I guess. You can hardly see it anymore. It just started raining. What a great time to start raining. You actually have to wait for nighttime to spawn this boss anyway. So, And we have a god apple. So I, I really don't think we're going to die. But I don't know how strong this boss is either. Oh, here we are. Oh, here we are. Nice. Holy, find the altar of the lich, or the lick, I don't know how to pronounce it. <laughs> oh, God. This is a pretty big boss arena, right? What is this? It is done, it has corrupted his soul, and nearly mine as well. All those innocent lives we took, all of these poor people, whatever evil we thought we were fighting, it took control of our minds, our bodies, we became the evil we sought to destroy. And I couldn't save save him nice it was too late the corruption reached his heart and turned my master and my friend into this thing there was no other way my mind became clear the fog was gone only for a fraction but enough to realize the madness we succumbed to i took a staff while he was resting and turned it against its own master i turned against my master and with all my remaining power i spoke the dark words he taught me a curse so strong no creature can resist yada 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 Interesting. My cruelties may never be undone, and I think there is no much t life left in me. The bane took its toll, and I accept its consequences. Stay away from this cursed ground. It holds only sorrow and woes. Well, I gotta hand it to him. The build looks incredible. Ooh. This is where I place the staff parts. I assume left to right. This is lower. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. And now I pour the blood in here. Oh no. Oh, what have I done? Oh, what have I done? Oh my god. I don't know when I need to eat this. Oh, this is scary. Oh god, dang it. Oh my god. Oh my god. Look, they're all coming from the sky. Oh my god, they do so much damage. Oh wow. Oh my god, it does so much goddamn damage. What the hell? These things don't do- Oh my god, I'm flying. What the hell? Oh shoot. Okay. 
I did like no damage to him. And I'm so sad to say that. Oh my god, there's just so many of them. This is ridiculous. This is actually insane. I do a little bit of damage to him though when I do this. Just run around him like this. Oh my god, okay. Mm. No, don't spawn right on me. Don't spawn right on me. You have to stay away from these, like, red puddles, because that's where they're about to spawn. And they damage you. Oh god. Oh god. Oh my god. This is ridiculous. This is actually an insane fight. Okay. Okay. If we... Calm the hell down. <gasps> no! I had no idea this whole time that he spawned those on top of me. That's insane. I never knew that. God dang it. Okay, let's try this again. Dude, it's, it's ridiculous, actually. Like, like, bro. You're trolling me. No. Bro, I don't have time. I don't, I like don't have time. Right here, it can't get me though, because I have something over me. Okay. Oh my god. But I can do this. Holy freaking mother of god nah what <sighs> this is rough this is really rough this is a strong freaking enemy man this is a really strong enemy if we move that like that then I think we're good yeah then nothing can get on top of us like that nice now nothing can get on top of us um, those, god oh look how much damage we're doing hold up uh oh, it's shooting, it's shooting at us, it's shooting at us. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> this is so scary. Oh, it's still, it's still doing it. It's spawning, it's spawning those skeletons around the map. What a cool boss. Oh wow, did you see that? You see him getting spawned? Oh god. You know, you can't say I'm not trying, though, man. I am trying my best. I am trying my absolute best. Wait. He disappeared. Oh, he's right there. Oh, my God. Wait, he moves? What? This is the first time I've seen him move. Okay, this is ridiculous. Wait, I don't even have armor on. Okay, it actually gives you a warning beforehand. I'm just now realizing that. And he's dead. What? What? No. That's phase. This is a two phase boss? <gasps> what the hell? What the hell's going on? Two seconds? <gasps> what the hell? What the hell? What? I can't move. I can't run. It won't let me run. I literally can't run. Everybody get the hell away from me. Oh my god, look at my body. It's like a GTA 5 death. Well, hopefully my items didn't get deleted from... Wow, look at this. My items didn't get deleted from existence, that's good. Wow. 
That is crazy. Holy cow. All right, let's go back to our spot. Oh my god. Well, nothing's happening. I think I may have glitched it, actually. What the heck? This is a... Dude. There's no way this is legit. How are you ever supposed to... That's actually insane. I would love to see somebody, like, legit beat this, because I'm so curious. How do you beat that? Because I'm rocking full netherite armor. And it is insta-killing me. It's like the warden. Except with full netherite, you don't even die from the warden, right? No way. No way there's a phase three. What the hell? That's oh, a baby. You can't get me, buddy. Did they think about this? <laughs> Did they think about this? He's probably going to teleport me to him again and I'm going to insta die. I, I got to come down there though. I can't kill him like this. What? He's like a baby though. Is this like the easiest phase? Or is he going to insta kill me if I get close? can't even touch him. Oh, this is scary. Oh, God. Oh! Oh, my God. Okay, he doesn't instant kill me, but he does a ton of damage. Okay. He does so much damage. You need to, like, God apples on God apples. This is actually kind of cool. I wish the regular Minecraft was like this, where there's a boss that's so strong that you literally need to go through a bunch of, like, ancient cities. Wow, how's he not dead? You literally need to go through a bunch of like ancient cities and do pretty much everything in the game. I don't want to kill him with that though. Uh, in order to even kill the boss. Three phases, that's so cool, dude. Well, uh, one of my favorite games of all time is uh, Elden Ring, like Souls games in general, really. I really like Lies of P as well. And so I think really hard bosses with multiple stages is dope. There's no way there's a fourth stage. Okay, it's dead. Attain? What does that do? Oh, that would be cool, wouldn't it? If it, like, went based off of corruption. If you have corruption, that's, like, it's ammo. What? What does this staff do? So I actually looked it up. I can't find any information on it. Which is weird, isn't it? I mean, it's really cool, though. Like I said, I wish... No... No, he's a friend. No way. No way. Dude, that is a sick. That's a sick. Wait, it probably looks goofy as hell. Me. Oh, no, it doesn't even look that goofy. Me holding it. This is my friend. You came here in the water with me. What's up, buddy? <laughs> this is crazy. I, w I wish they had something like this in like the actual Minecraft. Like a really difficult boss where you have to just g do everything in the game to even have a chance at killing. Well, that was interesting, even though I had to, you know, do a little bit of cheating for the boss fight. You know, it is what it is. Um, that was... Really cool. This staff is really cool. I'm like thousands of blocks away from the Lich King prison, by the way, and my friend is still over there, so I can't spawn a new one. That's kind of an issue. But, I mean, this mod pack is pretty cool. I reckon if you play this for, like, quite a while, like, up to 100 days, we're only on day 8. I reckon if you played this for, like, 100 days, yeah, you would definitely get scared. The hero brine popping up. We can summon the, uh, man, aggressive. Oh shoot, oh shoot, he's gonna kill me. 
Oh my god, he can break the doors! Jesus Christ! Okay. Well, that was unexpected. Maybe, you know, we'll do the Parasite mod next, and I'll do it with uh, a couple people. That would be fun. But Jesus Christ. Okay. Like, subscribe. All that cool stuff, you know. And, uh, yeah. Alright. Bye, guys.